I'll start with the end of the week because I stayed in New Glarus with Cleo and it happened to be 9-11. So um, I did some work stuff that I had to get done and then we went to a memorial service in the park and very touching because they had everybody process in and they set up the flags for you know fire, police, ser different services, EMT and all that. They had all of the um, local servicemen and women and um, uh, people who work in the fire department, the police department and EMTs and all that line the whole tent area since it's outside, outside tent in the park. And they started by, you know, doing some speeches and things, and they wouldn't give applause. They, they had people clap and clap and clap, and um, it was quite touching because I'm doing this project in community, and these guys are so integral to the community, these guys and gals. They are the person you call in the middle of the night because your husband had a heart attack, you know? And the first responders, and part of the community that I hadn't thought about before I went on this journey and I have stayed with policemen and I have stayed with volunteer firemen and you know I've, I've been in households where people have sons and daughters in Iraq or um, Afghanistan and it's it's a part of community of giving and service that you know I, I just I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before I left but it's just a big part of um, our community. So I found that very touching. And then there was a, a fun band that played a lot of um, kind of country, old, old style country. They are a whole family from Branson. Oh, Branson, Missouri. That sounds good. <laughs> so anyway, that was the end of my week. But um, we'll go back to the beginning of the week. I, I stayed in Dubuque with Lisa and Brian and their four children. And I was connected with them through my the people I'd stayed with in Cedar Rapids. And that was, that was a fun time. Just, just We made pizza and, you know, the kids were, 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 were playing with the camera after they were doing all this sort of stuff. And then watching, watching waiting for the delay. <laughs> and um, anyway, that was a lot of fun. And then I went to Hazel Green, which is... Not was not originally my plan, but I was looking at my route and I'm like, oh look, I'm gonna walk 19.5 miles and then 20.1 and then 20. And I thought, you know, we don't have to do this because there's other towns on the way. So I went to Hazel Green, and while I was at Hazel Green, speaking of policemen, uh, Mr. Heim from uh, Cascade called and said, are you in Hazel Green? I said yes. He said, I was the police uh, officer there for like 15 years. He's like, you're staying at the Wisconsin house, aren't you? I said, yes, I am. And he said, yeah, I, I checked in for a minute and I saw you looking right at the Wisconsin house sign. And he's like, does Pat still own it? And I said, yeah, she does. And so it was just one of those funny moments that I told, I told Pat about it. And she said, oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I remember him. He was here for years and years. So, and then um, I went to Schultzburg the next day and actually I have a story about being in, in Hazel Green I, I went I said where should I eat she said well there's this bar and that bar she's like I recommend this one so I went to the one she recommended and four farmers came in and had their coffee and the young guy who's sitting next to me before they showed up said you know we have coffee hour here this is also a coffee shop you didn't know, know that did you <laughs> I said no I didn't and then slowly but surely they all showed up for their coffee for their five o'clock coffee and I just thought that was kind of sweet. And they asked me all these questions. And, you know, at one point they, uh, they, they said, well, the one guy bought my dinner. And um, they were giving me ideas of people to talk to in the next town, which was Schultzburg. And um, at one point they said, well, okay, you have to just settle a dispute for us. I said, okay. And they said, okay, we're all trying to figure out how old you are. And I said, well, I want to hear your guesses first. And the guy from across the bar said, oh, oh, that can get you in trouble. But they guessed probably a little low. You know, if you're going to guess a woman's age, you're going to guess low. One said 26, one said 29, and one said 32. Or did he say 34? But anyway, 32. No, 32. He said, I think young 30 is like maybe 32. And I said, guys, I'm, I'm 40. And they all went, really? And, and 
and the guy who was just 29, he said, I was sure you were under 30. That was the argument. So that made me feel good. And, um, and then I uh, went to Schultzburg and had some very delicious cheese. Nothing worked out for all the phone calls that different people made for me. Sometimes that, you know, that happens. I just don't have anything that works out. So I went to City Hall because it's there nice and early. So I walked into City Hall and I said, I'm doing it project I have a camera on my head and just hold me. No, I didn't. I told them what I was doing and that it's about community and connections. And so I can think of two people right off the top of my head. So she gave me a couple phone numbers and she called which was an eatery also and had wonderful food and the owners were lovely. And again people came to the bar to have their all these questions and offered to buy my meal, which I'd already eaten so that was fun. like no and no you need to eat. You need to sustain yourself. So it was another situation of just people being really friendly and interested in what I'm doing and nice. And you know, I can never get enough of that. <laughs> and I ended up staying with the mayor and his wife that night. And he had a council meeting, and so he said, well, I'm done at 8. And I said, well, I don't mind hanging out here if they don't. And the owner said, no, no problem. Just stay as long as you need to. And, and um, their daughter had just recently hiked Machu Picchu, and then... Their nephew had bicycled across the country and stayed with different people. And she said, I just feel like I'm returning the favor for people being nice to him. And, you know, it's sometimes, sometimes people think what I'm doing is unfathomable. Like, who would ever walk across the country, ever? And then sometimes people relate to it because they heard about another hiker or they had somebody stay at their house before or they knew somebody that did what I'm doing or something related. So it's, it's sometimes a relief just to have somebody be like, yeah, 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 I, I understand why you would do this. This is something my daughter would do. That's what she kept saying. You guys have a lot in common. <laughs> so, um, and then the next night I stayed in Darlington. And uh, my host from the day before, Debbie, actually walked about four miles with me. And she made some phone calls when she got back, but it was, I was almost there by then. So when I got there, Patty said, oh, I didn't get and everybody seems to be out of town and she said well just stay here and I'm going to make some more phone calls mm -hmm. and they run their insurance agency in town and they were going to be out of town otherwise they would have hosted me well that was one of those instances where I ended up at the police station not in a bad way but they have vouch a voucher program there so they gave me a voucher for a hotel and the Super 8 Super was really nice like it had a swimming pool it had a breakfast buffet and they put mints on my pillow I was kind of surprised. It was very nice. It was a brand new building, but it also was just their service was nice and they were very friendly. Anyway, I got to this river and a car pulls up and Tom gets out. And he's like, um, Mary Beth and Patty were very, very worried because you're going the wrong way if you're trying to go to plant your stuff. I said, oh, oh really? He said, here you go. You were about a mile off course. You meant to turn on Maine when you got up to there, and you didn't turn, and they were all worried because they were watching me on the internet. So the interactive part of my project was definitely working. So he gave me a ride over to where I should have been if I had I kept going straight, and I walked the rest of the way. And again, nothing worked out for me but my mom called. Uh, she ended up calling, I think, the son of Lutheran Church and connected me with LaVon, and LaVon connected me with Cleo. And LaVon said she was very jealous that Cleo had me for two nights because she had me on Sunday as well and we went to the memorial stuff. So she put in there on Sunday. Rice cream. Family this week. Also, the, the countryside I'm in now reminds me of home. I It's... Uh, um, uh, walnut trees that are in their big green fruits and I remember crushing those up as a kid and getting my hands all black with a really strong dye to them. My friend and I thought we were squaws but it's dead filthy. Um, and, and then I don't know oh, conquered grapes hanging on all the trees and fence lines and um, apple trees. I had my first very fresh picked apple the trip. I wanted to pick one off the trees, but there weren't any that were hanging over into the road, so I couldn't. They were all behind big fences. But my host had picked apples that morning when I got to, uh, uh, what was it, New Glarus. And New Glarus is a Swiss town. Not only did we go to the center of the town and go to all the memorial stuff, but then she took me a tour and we went to the brewery. 
I didn't even try the beer. We just went to the brewery and held the cool equipment and got the tour. The beer does not sound good to me at all because of all the walking I do. Usually any kind of alcohol is like, ugh. Usually I would try something. But anyway. And it's just, it just feels like I'm really close to home. I mean, I only have 300 miles left to go. And just the landscape looks like Michigan to me. Lots of farm country, apple trees, even some wild asparagus growing up along the roadside. My long journey home, I'm almost home. <laughs>